What's going on guys? Welcome back to Complete Tech Crew. Today we got another nice unboxing and review and uh, kind of like a little tool, quick tool test, seeing how many tools and what kind of products and materials we can get inside this box. It's been uh, really great feedback from you guys and requesting that I actually demonstrate and utilize the tools a lot more in my videos and uh, I hear you guys. So I'm gonna start uh, acting on that immediately with this one. Just kind of seeing what kind of tools fit and stuff like that. I have one out in the field now, and especially when I travel and um, I'm doing a specific task, so like a rush job, I'll take this bad boy over like a pack out. And there's several reasons for that, and we'll dive into that in a second. So let's get into some of these specs real fast. And uh, sorry about the rambling. I'm always apologize about that, but that's just me. So this one's sporting a part number of 55473RTB. This is a Klein Tools Tradesman Pro Tool Master Rolling Tool Bag. Um, it says on the front of it that it has 20 pockets and has a nice variety and array of pockets in the inside. Extremely deep. It has eight inch wheels. Um, they're really rugged wheels. They're, they're on there pretty solid. I haven't broken my other wheels yet, nor has the airport broken the other wheels yet. Wheels yet, excuse me. So that's always a plus. I had a Milwaukee bag similar to this, and you guys know which bag that is. That bag is around 199 or 200 if it's still available. I'm not sure. I had it, I purchased it about four years ago, and I was traveling quite frequently and quite heavily, and um, that bag did not last long time at all. I mean, maybe three or four round trips, and that thing was done. I've taken my uh, other one just like this, my Tradesman Pro uh, roller bag, through a lot of trips and paces, and, and it's stood up very, very, very well. I haven't had any issues with the wheels. I haven't had any issues with ripping. The only issue I have is on the side right here, it's starting to crack, and I think that was just from blunt force. So um, my baby got some blunt force trauma to it, and uh, it was one of them fools working in the airport that's just careless. So it happens. It is what it is. I don't think they think think of that when they're designing these, that we're going to run them through airports, because to me, that's just the worst for hard shell or hard um, uh, uh, ruggedized or rigid materials going through there. They never last. So um, like I said, 20 pockets. It said it's low, tested up to 250 pounds which I have 100% tested that. I cannot prove it to you guys, but I've 100% exceeded that weight. I know that for a fact. So uh, you're opening this up. It says it has twist lock, Klein LED work light or wireless speaker um, mount. So that's just like that small speaker that's around 40 bucks that they sell at Home Depot that can mount on there or they have some specific lights, LED lights that mount on there as well. Um, it says hard top can be locked so nothing goes missing. I'm glad it says that. I didn't actually look at this before, but I think that's really great because the previous bag I had, there was no way to lock it. Now I'm referring to the Milwaukee one. There's absolutely no way to lock it. All you did was hit two buckles and that was it. And oftentimes it would it would pop up uh, during transit and I would get it and that thing would be wide open. I tried to get smart and zip tie it, but that means nothing with TSA. They just cut it right open. It says has heavy duty telescope and handle, which is this. Definitely not as rugged as the Milwaukee one, but just for uh, oops, just for pushing and pulling and stuff like that, it's great for that. And I make sure I, I retract it back down because I do not want it to get broken. But that was one of my gripes and complaints about this particular uh, rolling bag right here. It's just that handle is very flimsy. It has a lot of play in it, but I have not broken it. So what can I truly complain about? I also said also says hard top. Holds mobile phone. Yes, and it actually does hold the mobile phone, and we'll show you that in a second, a little while, and then it has cup holders as well. So um, wide open interior easily accommodates large tools. Correct, it's true. 20 pockets for maximum tool storage. And they're talking about the pockets in the front of this bag and the inside. It says it has the 1680D ballistic weave for durability, which is true. This thing has stood the test of time and been through the paces, and I haven't had any issues with tearing ripping anything like anything like that excuse me and it says orange interior for easy tool visibility i know that's kind of like like gimmicky or whatever but it that really does mean something to me that like bright orange material it almost like it's a light in and of itself i know that sounds foolish and oxymoronic but really it is it, it's um it's like that high vis high visibility uh color of material and it enables you to see darker tools and stuff in there so it's not like you're just digging in a deep dark bag and um, lastly, it says exterior webbing and D-rings allow for bungee cords and add-ons. So I guess they're referring to this material or this fabric right here. And you got your D-rings here, which is true. Which is true because I've tied quite a bit of stuff to that without really acknowledging that that's what it was there for. 
So yep, yeah, that's pretty good. I got guys again. The part number is five five four seven three RTB. So we'll, I'll get some little close up features on it. Get you some close up shots. So much, and we're gonna switch camera angles and we're gonna look inside, dive deep into it, and um, kind of just soak in all of this beauty and glory that this thing has. So really deep front pockets. It it reminds me a lot of that bag that I was crying about in one of my uh, previous videos. The Klein uh, Tradesman Pro bag um, that I completely, absolutely dislike. But I love, what I do love or did love about that bag is the way the pockets were laid out. I just don't like the way that bag was built and the way that bag held up. It was very terrible and um, and lackluster. And Klein, Klein knows that. That's why I don't, I don't think I see him too much anymore in the distributors and stuff like that. Sorry, it's not about that bag. That bag. Excuse me. Here I, here I go again with my tangents. So uh, here's quite a bit of those pockets. We got six pockets here, nice deep pockets, and then we had a larger opening pocket for every for whatever you need. My primary use for this bag is when I'm going on an emerging emergency service calls or rush calls that I'm gonna take care of within like three to four days. I, I shove everything I need in here: laptop, a backup laptop, um, a couple uh, hard drives, all the cables that I need for uh, for my networking and uh, programming, coding, and stuff like that. And then um, inside, I'll just put all the basic tools and stuff that I need. Everything, if so far, it's been great for me to take this versus the pack out because this has the pockets and um, and a lot and a, and a lot more, um, I guess, uh, softer housing, for lack of better words, for, for the tools that I'm utilizing instead of throwing everything in the pack out box. It rumbles around, it gets all jolted around, and it has a lot less security in it. These... These by no means are, um, and by no means am I comparing the two because they are totally two totally different um, items for two totally different purposes. So uh, right here you have your two buckles, which allows you access to the inside of it. And here goes that uh, that has that we were to, that I mentioned from the uh, advertising media that you can affix your light or you can affix your radio too. So it just snaps on there and twists, and you're good to go. And the inside is here. And again, like I said, we're going to switch that camera angle and get right up on it. And uh, we will do that right now. Be right back. So in taking a look at the front pockets right here, which I mentioned earlier that this bag is very well laid out. I really, really like this bag. Um, Here's your uh, array of front pockets here. You have your six deep or elongated pockets, and then you just have this one straight um, elongated pocket, and that can be used for several things, straps, anything like that, any type of elongated tool that you have, or several tools can get shoved in there, which is what I do. It zips up really well. I like these zippers. I like the front of it. I'm able to actually wipe this material up really well. I don't have too much trouble with that at all. It cleans up very well, guys. I just take a Lysol wipe, wipe it down when I get back out of the airport, go to the hotel or actually on my way back home, wipe it down really well and it comes right out. So uh, kudos to you on that one, Klein. And when we're looking at the top here, guys, the cell phone holder or cell phone area that I mentioned earlier is here. So you can see that little indentation and the phone kind of sits propped up there. You have your two cup holders or water bottle holders, whatever you want to call them. Then you have a little um, area here for parts and pieces. It says, do not step there. I don't know how many of us ever uh, take heed to that because I have used this as a step. That's a no-no. I should not have done that, but I did it and it didn't hurt my baby at all. So uh, she's tr tried and true and she stayed up and kept going really well. Let's uh, turn it around, get you some footage of the side. Take a look at the side of the bag there. There goes those uh, hooks and that D-ring there. Here's a handle here, got a little dust on it there. And like I said, it wipes up pretty well. Again, this is not the actual one that I've actually utilized out there in the field. This one is brand new. And if I didn't mention the price, guys, the price is just under 250 bucks. It's typically around 240. And if you catch it on sale, you'll get it for around 230, which is what approximately what I pay for this one. Guys, go to your local distributors, look around. They might be sitting around there collecting dust. Cause nobody's been taking, uh, paying attention to it. Nobody's looked at it. Go snatch it up. Ask them for a better price. You know, it's 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 okay to ask for things like that. You know, they know we uh, we're buying tools and uh, the economy's tough because everything's gone up. So just ask the question. Trust me, I do all the time. If it irritates them and pisses them off, and they say no, that's all they said was no. Not like they said something about your mom. So 
just keep it moving. Try again somewhere else. So it's always good to just ask the question. That's exactly what I do. I'm all about saving. So sorry about that plastic, guys. Let's get that off of there. You know, I like to keep it fresh and new and in the, in the plastic. So if you look right here, here goes those eight inch wheels I was telling you about. They're really nice, durable wheels. I do actually like that it has that um that play in the wheel in the wheels right there. It just it just keeps it from like skidding around. Like if you're getting on some slick ice or if you're uh making a sharp turn or moving a little bit too fast on those airport slick floors, you know, you kind of got that play in the wheels. Cause I've taken a, a similar style bag but the wheels were so tight and it just seemed like any you you take a turn and that thing is just sliding from under you. So here goes the little stands on here. And this is a really, really hard, doable polypropylene plastic, I believe. Look at those rivets in there. This bag is very well designed and very well built. So and it has the same thing on the underbody of it as well, guys. I'll show you that right now. Hopefully you can see that. And that's in frame. If you look at that, the bot, uh, it's almost like uh, under one of those uh, AT4 or... Uh, TRD Pro like skid plates with the Toyota or the GMC AT4 with the uh, skid plates for like off-roading on one of those four by four trucks or something. I know I'm nerding out about trucks. That's not what this is about, but that's what it reminds me of. And then it does have that, a very hard base under there. And I do believe what's in between there is a polypropylene plastic as well. Why I say that? Because I haven't been able to rip it. And again, I said this in a previous video on that Milwaukee bag that's similar to this one. Um, it had like a cardboard, a very thin, I want to say it was like an eighth of an inch thick or thin piece of cardboard uh, in between, in between as a membrane between the fabric, uh, between the two pieces of fabric on the inside and the outside, excuse me, or the exterior. So that, I thought that was kind of terrible. It got a little damp and it just decayed and that bag did not last long at all. So here goes the back of it. Again, we got those bumpers and that over molding here. Got nice rivets, got client tools embossed in there. Now, uh, this is a great, great, great looking bag. But more than it's more, more important than the looks, which are always important, is the functionality. So you got the client tool embossed on the bottom and on the top. And then here goes your handle again. And it's just kind of a flimsy handle. But I, I, again, I haven't broken it. I haven't damaged or anything like that, or it hasn't been broken or damaged. So what am I griping or complaining about? So let's turn it around. Get her back in frame, open her up so we can look in the inside. Get that thing opened up. And if you guys were wondering, when you do flip it back, it does kind of latch on a little bit to the handle, just a tiny bit. So it's not actually like just sitting there flimsy. So if a gust of wind or somebody comes by and hits it, it'll flip down and crush your hand. So don't be concerned about that because it, it does have that kind of nice feature. So if you look in there, very deep, very, very deep and very spacious. Um, I'm almost like all the way up to the midpoint of my arm. So it's a pretty, pretty, pretty deep bag. Has a lot of room in there. Like I said, I utilize this for the padding and the pockets. So I don't have to take like extra tool backpacks, extra tool bags for whatever assignment or task that I'm being sent on or need to go take care of real fast. So great bag, great pocket space. Oh yeah, make sure you don't eat those ever. Don't let nobody get a hold of that. So um yeah, guys, it's really good looking. Got the orange, the bright orange interior. And I know it seems gimmicky, but it actually does help with identifying fine tools, finding tools versus it being all black or some type of dull um, earth tone color. So be looking out for this bag, guys. I really like this space. Pay attention to other bags that are out there. I know Husky has or had uh, that particular bag. Um, and I want to do a video and a comparison on that. I'm going to do an unboxing and a uh, um, um, excuse me, I'm going to do an unboxing on that Husky bag as well because I've taken that through the paces and it's held up very, very, very well for me, just like this one has. So I did purchase two of those on clearance. They were clearing them out of my local store and I don't know why and I haven't seen them since. So I wonder if they just discontinued that bag. And that was marketed for the pros, that specific bag. And I'll get you that information when that in that upcoming video. So guys, let's uh, without further ado, sorry for rambling and make this video long like I always do. Let's go ahead and load this up and give you some general ideas of how this bag works. All right, guys, let's try to get it all loaded up. This is just for simulation or kind of just demonstrational purposes only. So don't think by any means this is the way I'm going to load it or what I'm actually going to be loading it up with or what I have loaded it up with. Just trying to kind of show you a quick uh, real world example. So... Um, 
grab some of this stuff real quick. And uh, I tried to put as much client stuff as I, care, I could in here. So uh, don't beat me up too bad in the comments when you see a lot of Milwaukee stuff. It's just the nature of the beast, it happens. So uh, just go ahead and uh, get a little hammer in here. If the thing wants to slide in there, might be a little too tall, so just drop that in the bottom. Got some uh, insulated drivers. I know you're wondering there in the package, I got reviews coming out for this. So this is actually a, a slick way of uh, sliding to you guys of what's coming, some reviews coming. So if the pockets are endless with this bag, absolutely endless. So I can just do this all day. If I was to actually set it up this way, I can do this all day. So uh, you see that uh, we have so much space in here to slide anything anywhere. Let's go for one of those deeper pockets. They might actually go in there. Here we go. I love these pockets. I love how uh, malleable they are and how they form to whatever you put in there. So let's go for a little bit heavier tool. We got a couple surge impacts, a couple just M18 standard drills and stuff. And this is how I actually set it up. I'll throw the drills in there like that. A couple batteries at the base as well. If that's the application that I need. And then I have a hard case for my laptop, for my backup laptop that I actually throw in there as well. Um, here goes the tried and true Milwaukee installation driver right there. So I usually keep it in this case just to keep all the bits and pieces with it. And most likely I'll just throw it in there. And sometimes this is all I take, just depending on whatever the call is or whatever the reason is uh, for me hopping, running out so fast with this particular bag. So your M18 HO batteries, throw those on top if you want it or keep them on the bottom for that extra cushion. This thing has tons of space, guys. Try not to make the video too long, but I love nerding out and experimenting. So that's just a Surge Impact Kit which is available right now on the Buy More, Save More, guys. This is, I did not get this one from the, from the Buy More, Save More, but it's available right now. A lot of you guys are asking me what are the current deals. Check it out. There's some Buy More, Save More going on right now at HD, so be looking out for that if you don't already have it. So look at that, guys. It, it's almost endless, like, what you can do with this. You can just keep going, and I, I'm being ridiculous right now. So, and uh, there you go. And you hit those locks here, or not the locks, but the uh, hasp. Buckles, you're good to go. And this is the key, this is the key feature about this. I know this lock doesn't mean anything, but it does because TSA will just cut it or pop it right off. But what helps is the ability to have a location to at least put a zip tie or put a lock there to keep it from popping open. That was the biggest, that was my biggest gripe about that Milwaukee one. It was so annoying that it didn't have anywhere to actually secure it. Now, I don't mean like lock it out, and, you know, to keep anyone out, but just secure it from popping open. Even riding in the back of my truck or, van, or the van, if that thing tipped over somehow, that thing would just, uh, all the contents would come flying out. You'd be like, man, I had it buckled down. It, the buckles on it are actual buckles. They're fabric buckles. It's not like they have a, a shackle like this. It, it wasn't like this. You know, this gives you a little more assurance, but uh-uh. It was abs they're absolutely like buckles on their fabric buckles. So they needed to definitely go back to the drawing board on that. I haven't seen anything since the time of me buying that so long ago, them coming back to that. So I hope to see them revamp that with way better materials and uh, just a way better design. So guys, always thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the comments, the positivity, the support, the love from you guys. It's very humbling. And it's very motivating. I'm a, I'm a self-motivated person, but it's just uh, it's an honor to see that all of my efforts trying to help and trying to share and uh, trying to share the love and spread positivity and share knowledge and information. Uh, it's like 99.9% .9 positive feedback. And I really appreciate that. And uh, for the guys that's been rocking with me since day one and all that good stuff, like I said, I got merch coming out. I'm just get out to you guys as soon as I can. Um, and thank you guys so much. And if there's anybody out there who feels hesitant to give me any feedback, whether it be the way the video sounds, how it looks, angles, all that, I'm very, very open to that. And I'm not a sensitive individual. Just as long as you're coming from, from a positive uh, state of mind and with good intentions and a good heart, um, that's all I care about. So again, guys, remember when we put positive energy out there, it's going to come back times 10 million. So let's continue to remain positive, optimistic, and uh, we're going to, uh, blessings will continue to fall on us. So thank you guys so much for watching.